Hey, so we're getting close to the time of the year where generosity starts becoming a big thing. And I want to have a wee talk to you about this act of generosity and how it can be given and perceived in a way that might not be what you expect. To share this story with you, I need to tell you a story that was shared with me uh, by another friend, a guy by the name of Craig Rodney, who was one of the groomsmen at my wedding, an amazing person. Uh, if you've not uh, come across him in the past, you need to seek him out on the socials. He's a, an incredible human being. Now, uh, Craig was telling this story way back in his career. He had a business called Emerging Media, which uh, he led a merge with Cerebra. Uh, and Emerging Media was a company that did PR pri primarily in the tech space. Now, one of his big clients was a guy you may have heard of by the name of Mark Shuttleworth. And Craig would do all of this work with Mark and it was uh, uh, really cool and he became somewhat of a trusted advisor in that space. And once Craig told me a great story that he was over in London and he was doing some work with Mark and at the break, he, you know, he, he had a great day and he wanted to, to do something special. And he said to Mark, hey, uh, should we go somewhere nice for lunch? And Mark was like, cool. Let's do this. Now, for those of you who don't know, Mark Shuttleworth is an extremely successful South African entrepreneur, like a billionaire, one of the big kind of the earliest big tech successes in South African history. Uh, done amazing things like just, you know, if you don't know him, Google him. I mean, you must know him. It's Mark Shuttleworth, for goodness sake. Come on. Catch your wake up. Anyway, so they decide to have a break for lunch and off they go. Craig says, you know, should we go somewhere quite nice? And Mark says, cool. He knows this place. And off they go and they go to this place. And they're sitting down and the bill arrives. And Mark, of course, being you know, the, the host, and the, you know, um, turns around to, to and takes it and takes the bill across. And Craig turns around and says, actually, you know what, Mark? Like, I asked to go somewhere nice because I've just had such an amazing couple of days working with you. I'd like to take this. And Mark's like, oh, Craig, don't be silly. Craig turned around and said, you know what, Mark? It would mean a lot to me if you could let me uh, get you this lunch. And Mark turned around and did something. And this is where the act of generosity comes in. And the act of generosity was Mark, Mark turned around and said to Craig, Craig, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you very much. And he handed back the bill to Craig and Craig paid for lunch. Here's the thing. Sometimes we think generosity is about paying for this stuff, about doing those things, but sometimes generosity is about letting other people do just that. Right? Just because you're the person that maybe has more money or has more experience or more time, uh, we feel that well, we should be the one sharing, but sometimes it goes the other way. Now, there's another reason I'm telling you this, because it's not just about paying the bill. So I was having a cup of coffee just now with a friend of mine. And we have a mutual friend who's a person we respect deeply. And this person, every time we see them, we go out to lunch and I write on my, my to do better list that day, you know, listen more to this person, uh, you know, ask more questions. Because every time I leave, this guy's so generous with his listening. And it's a great skill, you know, we're always told listen more. And he's so generous with his listening that we'll sit down and, and we'll start off, you know, so how are you and what are you working on? And then I'll start telling him and then I'll say, and so that's me and I'll say, no, but what are you working on? He'll say, no, no, but hold on a second. I'm, I'm so fascinated by what you just told me. Could you tell me a bit more about this thing? And it's this, again, counterintuitive generosity. We're told to listen, but sometimes we need to also let other people learn about us. Sometimes we need to give of ourselves in order to let somebody else turn around and say, hey, that's amazing. And you know, you're great too. I don't want to be the person who's just receiving their feedback, their thank you. They're not a parent, it's an acquaintance. And again, this is a person who I hold in such high regard. This isn't a diss in any way and I would never want them to change, but every now and then I'd like them to, to trust me and to be generous enough to let me pay, right? To let me give some ideas and some feedback and some to be some generous with my ideas too. So that's the thought. Sometimes we have to be counterintuitive about our, our perceptions around what it means to be generous. It's not always about being the person who's giving, right? Being the person who's listening. Sometimes it works both ways and there is a degree of a balance. You don't always have to be the person that reaches for the billfold. Sometimes let the other person do it, even if you perceive that they have less. In fact, especially if you perceive they have less. That's it for me today. Stay curious. Peace. Hey, what's up? This is Skinny from Missing Link. If you enjoyed what you just watched, smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And share the love, man. Spread the generosity. Share it with all your friends. Peace.